Hello everyone, I am Sevens, and welcome to the first episode ever of my little guide that I'm going to make for Oxygen Not Included. Uh, as I said in the intro video, I kind of explained what I'm doing. I'm going to be making a short series that talks about different kind of very, very fundamental basics for this line of videos. We're going to be dealing with materials and, uh, you know, a little bit on heat. And this is kind of geared more towards, like, super beginners. As well as people that just kind of want a short and simple answer. Now, I am in sandbox mode or creative mode. So I can spawn things in and test things in. So... When you're starting out in the game, you're going to be having sandstone. You can get sandstone from what looks like this. This is my test world. So you can get it from, you know, getting your duplicates to dig this up. One of the very first things you can build as a walkable ground are tiles. But there are different kinds of tiles. There's also insulated tiles and metal tiles, which we'll touch on in a second. So, duplicates can walk on top of them. The things to keep in mind is that, and we're going to dive into this more as this, as this section. This is 1-0. This is all about heat and materials um, goes on. Is that temperature can, like, move. Right now, this is a vacuum. This is not what would normally happen. It would be more like this. Temperature moves. Uh, heat and chill i don't know which content creator i pulled that from but he things can heat and things can chill since you're going to be starting out with sandstone as your building material it's important to know that uh what it can do so here's an example an extreme example the best kind we're going to take some uh liquid magma and it's going to have 1,727 degrees Celsius. That's pretty hot. We're going to put it here. Boom. Now we're going to watch these tiles go from 20 degrees Celsius because the game is paused. We're going to put it on this. And we're going to see what happens. Uh, we're going to do it on slow speed. It's starting to increase. Don't worry about that. That's the void filling in. It's starting to increase in its temperature because it's hot. Yes, yes, yes. I know. We're all lost. We're done. Um, temperature's rising pretty high. Insulated tiles can, as the name implies, prevent uh, temperature exchange to that intensity. So we're going to fill it in as well. Since it's paused right now, it's 20 degrees Celsius, and this is 1,227. Ah, now let's speed it up. It's still being insulated. It's still not changing. So, if you need to protect your colony from heat, then insulated tiles are the way to go. But what about something cold? What's going to happen? Let's look. Right now, this is at a really high temperature, so I'm actually curious what will happen. It starts going down. That's pretty nifty. This is starting to go down, too, because it still has residual heat in it, which makes sense. Um, I made this ice unbearably cold. But point is, this right here, as well as if surrounding area is going uh, slowly down and it's mostly due to this getting uh, transferring its chill into this right here see now it's turning blue getting really cold however our beloved insulated tile is still at 20 degrees celsius so regardless of what you choose to do keep in mind 
that if you want to keep your base not like this, you know, you want to keep the surrounding sides of your base nice and secure, you're going to want to use insulated tile. This tile is good for walking on, just starting out. This is good for surrounding your base and preventing temperatures from coming in. So, one final note. Building this tile out of sandstone, I've noticed no difference with any of the other materials of significance. Obviously, they all have their difference, like slow heating and overheat temperature, all that jazz. So for this tile, sandstone is, I have found fine, except when you deal with extreme heats like that, then it's problematic. Um, so this can go inside your base and then surrounding your base. Uh, use what you can at the beginning. Sandstone is a good one. Once you've mined and got more materials, I prefer to switch over to igneous uh, to surround my base. I feel more comfortable with that. It has slow heating, it has higher overheat temperature, so that's a good thing to surround your base in. I have used granite. I've used sedimentary rock. If you're trying to deal with extremely high temperatures, then ceramic is really good. But I, from just personal experience, have not had to use ceramic. So, recommend recommendation is sandstone and igneous. And then if you have really high temperature, then ceramic. This is a cool effect. All right, this has been me, Sevens, uh, from Brute Systems Incorporated, uh, Brute Force Systems Incorporated. Uh, in the next one, we're going to talk more about materials and buildings. All right. Bye.